team before we start with the implementation let me explain you what exactly is going to happen okay this is prometheus page and as of now i have configured node exporter black box exporter and alert manager okay and conditions you can see here what what is the, what are the conditions instance downs website is down host out of memory means like there is no memory no disk space uh, high cpu load this kind of conditions i have set up so as of now three three uh, like things are down virtual machine is down my website is down okay and serve uh, some service which is node exporter service running on a vm it is down so as soon as we three condition three uh, things are down three alert rules are satisfied we are going to receive notification email the format you can see here first one website down information that the website at so and so is down right second mail that we received is like instance down okay uh, information you can see here in annotation so and so of job job uh, node exporter has been down for more than a minute right third we have service unavailable which service node exporter service is unavailable or stopped so in this way you are going to receive notification email and now let me show you how we can configure all this setup because it is quite little bit complex which you need to watch the whole video in order to understand okay hello team and welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be quite interesting because it's about real time mega monitoring project so in today's video i'll be showing you how in real time we can monitor different instances we can monitor websites and so many other things as well side by side we can be notified over our email address if any issue comes during the monitoring process okay that is the best part now i know that every one of you want to implement it successfully without any issues and for that you need to watch this video till end because every single step that we need to follow i'll be showing in this video live okay yeah and so make sure that you are watching this video so that you don't face any kind of issues or errors in return i just ask one thing you can keep supporting me on this channel by subscribing to it sharing my videos as well as i would highly recommend that once you implement the uh, this project successfully post it on linkedin tag me and i'll be really happy to support you in this journey okay now with that being said let us get started and let me explain you the scenarios that we are going to implement today okay okay so this is the diagrammatic structure that i have created so that i can explain you explain you the use case that we are going to perform today also team uh, for those who are looking for training sessions batch 5 is ongoing we have started on 18th and still if you join late you can watch the previous videos the whatever live sessions we have covered you can watch them here okay so if you are interested for learning in real time like how things happen in companies you can join this and i'll be teaching you from scratch okay now yeah let's move on to the next part okay so first use case is that i have a website that is running okay i want that if my website goes down if my website crashes immediately within five minutes i should be notified over my gmail address that okay your website is crashed or you, your website is down okay second scenario is that i have a virtual machine named virtual machine one okay and i have a service running on virtual machine which is nginx you can have any other service also like Jenkins can also run a service. So any other service that is running, if the service goes down, if the service crashes or if the, if the service is stopped immediately within few minutes, we should be notified over our Gmail address that, okay, this service is down. Okay. Third scenario that we have, if the instance itself, the VM itself, if it crashed, if it's down, then also we should be getting notified. Okay. Fourth condition that I want to implement is that key. If there is no storage left on my virtual machine, if there is no memory left on my virtual machine, if the CPU is overloaded, then also I should be notified. Okay. So these are like five, six scenarios on which I want that I should be immediately notified if these kind of scenarios occurs. That is first is if my website goes down, if my virtual machine goes down, if the serv specific service on the virtual machine goes down or if the uh, like a storage on the virtual machine is like completely uh, uh, like occupied or there is no storage left so in these such scenarios i i want that i should be immediately notified over my gmail address okay now let me explain you how this is this use case is going to work okay so few components first of all we should be knowing four components first is node exporter then prometheus then black box exporter then alert manager okay now let me explain you each component one by one in clear way first we have black box exporter you know these exporters that we have their task is to scrap some metrics to get some metrics from whichever thing that we want to monitor for example i want to monitor this website 
right so black box exporter task is to get the information or metrics if the website the access on the website is allowed or not that means if i'm uh, firing like clicking to access the website if website is being accessed or not okay so if that is done if that information once we get it we can get it using black box exporter we can get that information if traffic is coming or not if website is up and running or not these kind of metrics we can get using black box exporter okay next we have node exporter from the name itself you can understand node is what node is like a virtual machine so node exporter what it's going to do it's again going to get some metrics from the virtual machine what metrics it's going to get metrics like uh, uh, metrics like key what is the uh, storage on the virtual machine how much cpu is being used how much uh, ram is being used those kind of basically you can say key uh, node metrics it can export it can get that okay so once node exporter black box exporter if they are able to get this kind of information this kind of metrics from the mentioned resources website and the virtual machine they can pass on these metrics to prometheus okay prometheus is a uh, data source tool you can say okay a monitoring tool also you can say so it's so once uh, these uh, metrics are passed to prometheus then prometheus can analyze the information what is going on okay also we have third uh, fourth component which is alert manager now alert manager is what in alert manager we can set up conditions what conditions key let's say ki my website is down if my website is down we can set up time also ki if my website is down because you know sometimes it can happen that a website may be fluctuating like it goes down but within one second it comes up so i don't want that ki in just duration of one second i should be receiving email at email right my my requirement is that if website is down continuously for minimum 1 to 2 minutes then i should be receiving the email right so those conditions we can mention inside alert manager it is another component so once we mention those conditions what conditions we are mentioning first if my website goes down for 1 minute we should be receiving email another condition if the instance uh, virtual machine it goes down then after 1 minute because we need to make sure it is not just down for like a few seconds like right it should be at least down for 1 minute so that we can receive the notifications okay so after one uh, like if a virtual machine is down for continuous 1 minute we should be receiving notification similarly uh, for service unavailability uh, storage unavailability so all those conditions we are going to write inside alert manager okay basically we are going to create some rules which we are going to call as alert rules okay so once we set up those alert rules then what what is going to happen we will be getting notified based on those alert rules okay and we need to configure the ma mail system also so that we can receive the notification okay again summarizing everything website uh, metrics will be getting scraped or exported by black box exporter virtual machine metrics will be exported by node exporter all those metrics will be forwarded to uh, prometheus so that it can be monitored or analyzed after that that information will be available to alert manager also and based on that information based on whatever report is coming alert manager will match along with its rules ki website is down or not if the uh, virtual machine is down or not based on those condition alert manager is going to send the mail not notification if website is down we will be receiving notification and similar to other conditions okay so now let us do one thing let us implement everything okay also one more thing you should note in ki this is a second virtual machine this green color you are seeing this is second virtual machine that means on second virtual machine we are setting up prometheus black box exporter and alert manager okay so now let us implement it in real time and let's see what happens so first of all let me create two virtual machines okay and name i am going to give as of now it's not given a name i am taking ubuntu machine and yeah uh, machine uh, version is 24.04 coming to next instance type so i am going to go with t2 medium two machines i have taken okay key pair is going to be this and then we are taking the uh, security group now just to show you everyone like what ports i have opened on my machine so that you can open the same ports if i go to security groups we have primary and these are the certain ports i have opened okay except this or this you can just take a screenshot and open these ports simple as that okay i'll explain which port we are using for which okay 
So once you, you can just take a screenshot and open these ports. Once you have done that, then we can go ahead and create our virtual machine. Storage, I'm going to go with 20. Okay. Now these machines are created. So let us name them. This is I'm going to uh, name as monitoring. So three tools we are going to install on this virtual machine. And this is the virtual machine that we want to monitor. So I'm just going to give it name as VM. Okay. Now one by one, we are going to access them and let us start configurations. First, I'm going to open this monitoring tool where we are going to configure the different monitoring tools. Basically this VM2. So here we are going to install Prometheus, Alert Manager and Blackbox Exporter. Okay. So let us do that. Where is it? Yeah. And we can access using mobile XTERM. So let me remove the previous session so that I can create new sessions. Okay. Click on session SSH IP address. Username is going to be Ubuntu because I'm using a Ubuntu machine. Advanced SSH. So here I'm going to use a private key. And this is present on my local. So now we are able to be connected. It will take some time. Okay. Let me rename it to monitoring. Monitoring. Sorry about that. Tools. Okay. And color I'm just going to go with uh, orange. Let me rename, uh, start it again. Okay. So now we are on our virtual machine. And now let us install all the tools that is needed. So before anything, first command that you are supposed to run sudo apt update. Okay, this will update all the packages that are available in the default repository so that we can use them later. Okay. So let's wait for this. Meanwhile, this is getting completed. We need to download the uh, different package tools. We can get it from this website prometheus.io. You can click on download and all the packages for whatever tool we need, we can find it here. First, we need to set up Prometheus. So you can see second link is for Linux. So I'm going to right click, copy link address and I'll go here. Let me clear this screen. I'll use the wget command to download the package. Okay. And first package is downloaded, right? So let us extract it tar hyphen xvf prometheus okay now it is extracted right now we have two things so let me remove the zip file we don't need it now prometheus dot okay i'm going to just rename this file also so that it is easier to uh, search and i'm going to just rename it to prometheus so now we have just one folder. Okay. Second package that we need to install, it's going to be black box exporter. So I'm going to get the Linux uh, link, copy link address, and let us download it using wget command. One more thing, team, I need to tell you that see, I'm using direct packages, right? You can even set up these tools in the same way using containers or directly in Kubernetes ports. That will also work fine. Okay. So we have another package. Let me extract it. Tar hyphen xvf. And this is black box exporter. Right. And now we have these files. So I'll remove this uh, tar file because we don't need it. Okay. And I'm going to rename this black box file, uh, folder also. Okay. Now we have these two folders. Now, one more thing we need to download on this virtual machine, which is which is the alert manager, because through this we are going to receive the notification email. So I'm going to copy this as well. Go to virtual machine and it is download this. OK, and let us extract this as well. Tar hyphen XVF alert manager, right? And again, we are going to remove the tar file because we don't need it. And I'm going to rename this alert manager file also. This is going to be just alert manager. Okay. So these things are done, right? Uh, we have installed the packages and they are available for usage, but I have not downloaded or installed anything on them. Okay. 
second thing now next up what we need to do we need we can install all these tools separately or we can secondly we can go with uh, setting up second virtual machine for the uh, monitoring purpose right so i'm going to get the second machine now which is vm copy the public ip address go back to mobax term and let us create another session of this let us rename just change the ip address and you can change the name name is going to be uh, i'm going to name it as uh, vm vm dash one okay color also if you want you can just change it but that is up to you okay so it's also up now what i want here that first of all we need a website to monitor right for that what i can do i can set up one application and run it immediately right but before that as i as i have always told you always run the first command sudo apt update let's wait for this meanwhile i can open uh, git repository where my application is there so i can use this application to uh, like i can execute this application to run it as a website which we can monitor okay so first of all i'm going to create uh, uh, sorry i'm going to clone this repository git clone and the repository okay we have this right next up what we need to do we need to set up node exporter here so that this virtual machine metrics can be scrapped by our node exporter component for that also we can go to prometheus.io scroll down where you find something like node exporter this one right you can get the linux package copy the uh, ip uh, copy the link and we can download it on our virtual machine okay so we have this now let us extract it tar hyphen xvf node exporter and let me remove the tar file and let me rename the node exporter file okay okay now let us do one thing let us run the node exporter now See, if I go inside node exporter, you can see there are these files out of which this node exporter, this file, you see it is in green in color. That means it is executable. Just to confirm, if I run ls la, you can see that this node exporter, it has the permission to be executed by any of the users, right? So that's what we are going to do. I'm going to run the command dot slash node exporter. And I want that this uh, service, node exporter is also a service, right? So I want that it should be running in background. So I can put ampersand and now if I click enter, it is running where it is running. It is running on port 9100 and you know, if I click enter, it is not closed. It is still running because I have used ampersand sign. So it is running in background. Okay. So we can access it where we can get the IP address. This is public IP address. And as you can see, it is running on port 9100, right? So I'll put it here, colon, 9100, click enter. That means the node exporter is running correctly and we can check metrics also. So yes, it is able to get the metrics as well. Okay. So this part is done. Next up, what I want, I want that my application should also be uh, running. Application means board game, right? So in also order to run the board game application and access it on browser, we need to have Java and Maven using which we can build it. So let me immediately set up Java and Maven because you know, as I said, we need to monitor an application, right? So uh, monitor a web application website running on the like browser. We can be able to access it. So for that, I need to build the jar file, execute the jar file so that we can access it. Okay. So yeah, Java is installed. Let me install Maven as well. So sudo apt install Maven hyphen y. So this is done. Okay. Immediately I'll just run the command maven package and this will build the project. Let's wait for this to complete. It is running the test cases now. After this is done, we can execute the jar file to run the application on browser. Okay. 
let's wait for this to play. <coughs> sorry about that also team yes uh, just keep supporting team so that i can keep making these videos okay so i'll go inside the target folder we have this uh, jar file you can see i can run this jar file actually java iphone jar the name of the jar file right click enter and now it is running okay just to confirm we can access it on browser if i put it here by default my project should be running on port 8080 click enter and you can see project is also running that means ki now i can monitor this website and we have node exporter also ready right that means ki our task here is done now we can start set, setting up things on this okay so now i am going to first of all prometheus folder i'll here also you can see there is the one executable file which is this one and this one right but prometheus is this service that we need to run in order to access prometheus over browser and run it okay so again to run it i will write the command prometheus ampersand means it is it will be running in background okay click enter now in order to understand like where exactly it's running so by default uh, this prometheus runs on port 9090 you can see here right http address is uh, ip address port 1990 so we can access this also i can copy the ip address of the machine where we are setting up uh, prometheus and i'll put it here colon 1990 okay let me put it here and you can see it is running now in status if i go to targets we can see it is running right also here you see this option rules as of now you see there is no rules added that means ki uh, we have not yet configured any alerting rules okay you can see in alert also nothing is there right so now let us do one thing let us set up our alert manager so let me clear the screen come out of prometheus and i can go into alert manager here you can see we have alert manager right okay we have this yaml file also let me show you what exactly is in this yaml file okay basically you know in this yaml file we are going to configure the email addresses where we want to receive the notification which we are going to do in a bit okay now okay now as i said ki if i go to prometheus over browser here inside rules we have not set up any rules that means ki there are no rules for which the uh, alerting should be done right that means we need to set up alert rules how we can set up so for that what i am going to do now i'll go back to prometheus okay here we need to create one file file will be alert_rules.yaml okay now here in alert rules uh, alert rules dot yaml we are going to write the conditions on which the alerting should be done that i have written and let me explain you uh, so if i scroll down alert rules okay now uh, once you have written sorry about that one second let me explain you also so that let me copy this you know before once you have written your yaml file make sure that you are going to a website yaml lint just to verify that your yaml file is correct because in yaml indentation matters a lot so as of now we have correct yaml right now let me explain you what things i have written first i have written instance down okay condition basically we are going to use expression up is equal to 0 means uh, instance is up and running if it goes to 1 that means instance is down and for how long we need to uh, make sure ki instance is down so that notification mail is triggered for 1 minute that means ki if my instance is down for 1 minute then i'll be receiving notification if it's like that ki instance goes down for 10 seconds and immediately comes up then we are not going to receive notification so for that you need to configure the timings here okay second we have website down so probe success equal to 0 that will be done by black box exporter black box exporter is going to check for probe success or not Zero equal to it is success. That means that if it becomes one based on the information given by black box exporter, so if my website is down for minimum one minute, then we are going to receive the notification. Severity also you can set up here, which is like critical. 
okay then post out of memory that means ki this virtual machine one if it is goes if it is going out of memory or there is no memory left then we are going to receive notification for that okay similarly we have out of disk space and so many others ha high cpu load right high memory usage and see in high memory usage we have set up some condition memory usage if it is greater than 90% then we are going to receive notification and 90% is continuously being utilized for minimum 10 minutes then we are going to receive the notification okay so i am going to copy this all okay and write it inside the here okay and i will save this once we have done that now we need to define this information in our prometheus.yaml so i will uh, edit the file prometheus.yaml okay here here we need to make some changes now okay here you see uh, this also we are going to modify in a bit but yeah let's wait for first here we have rule file section right that means we need to uh, provide the file name where i have set up our rules right so let us do that we have set up our rules in a file known as alert files alert rules right so i will uncomment this and i will provide the name name is alert underscore rules dot yaml right that is the file we have configured now let me save this now what i am going to do we need to start the alert manager also so i am go to going to alert manager uh, 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 uh. cd alert manager dot slash alert ampersand to run it in background now alert manager where it's running address is 1993 1993 so i am going to access that from monitoring tools ip address copy that <coughs> sorry about that and i am going to paste it here port is 1993 okay yeah so here things are set up and you know here as of now no alert group is set up okay do not worry about that status as of now we can just check ki if our alert like alert manager is running or not okay that is one thing coming back here now you see in status rules still there uh, nothing is showing because we need to restart our prometheus how we can do that we can go here we can go inside the prometheus again okay here you see ki i have i am running the prometheus service in background so how i can start a restart it so for that i'll run the command pgrep prometheus it's going to find out ki the process id this is the process id so i'm going to kill this process id by running kill then the id right and prometheus is stopped you can see from the uh, 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 this log now immediately i'm going to start it again slash yes give me one second yeah just ampersand now it has started again so we can go back to prometheus refresh the page let's wait for this to come up Okay, it's taking some time. Sorry about that. Let me try to access it again. As as I said, it was running on port nineteen uh, ninety, I guess. So yeah, one. it's not able to get up okay now fine it's it's able to get up now we can go to alert rules and here you can see alert rules are visible now right if i scroll down you can see all the conditions that we have set up okay and as of now state is everything fine so alert rules is set up and alert manager is also running right 
next up what we need to do uh, we need to set up black box exporter and as of now you know uh, as of now uh, inside the prom we need to provide information see we had this diagram and i mentioned ki black box exporter whatever information it is getting from for website and node exporter whatever information or metrics it is exporting that should be forwarded to uh, prometheus right that means we inside prometheus we need to mention information about these two components right so let us do that now so for that we need to go inside prometheus file prometheus.yaml file if i go here we can see as of now alert manager also we can see set right let me set up the target of alert manager press y and let me remove the comment and here in alert manager we need to write the ip address where my alert manager is running as of now i am already running on the same virtual machine where prometheus is there in case if it is running somewhere else you need to provide the ip address right so instead of writing localhost i'm writing the ip address okay that is done next up what we need to do scrolling down yes so as of now you know in this section scrape configs so basically you know uh, node exporter and black box exporter both of them are breaking uh, scrapping some metrics that metrics need to be given to prometheus so that that configuration Give me one second. Let me turn off my Telegram. So that configuration we can set up here. Okay. How we can do that? Let me show you. Okay, my VM is stuck or what? Let me re-edit uh, re this again. So we need to now provide certain information here. You know job name you are seeing. So three jobs we need to add. One for node, node exporter, one for uh, this uh, black box exporter. So total three jobs we need to add. Okay. Where you can get that information? So I'll be sharing you the documentation. You can follow that. Okay. And what things we need to add? Let me explain you. Okay. Where is it? Yeah. So node exporter job here, we just need to provide the information about the where exactly node exporter is running so that we can monitor it. So I'll copy this part. I'll go to browser. Uh, where is YAML lint? So this, this is the configuration that we need to add. Okay. Let me just check. Yeah, it is fine. So I'll copy this whole thing. And we need to add this in our yaml prometheus.yaml file okay just one thing that you need to be sure of is that key the the thing that you are writing it should be correct okay notation should be correct and if you see here static config is supposed to be below j let me write it down okay and this should also be yeah that's correct okay so now it seems fine let me save this yeah one thing that we need to modify is the ip address my node exporter it is running on port where is it 9100 but ip address is this one so i'll copy this and modify here let me modify it Just remove this HTTPS thing. Just keep the IP address. Okay. And after that, let us save this. Once you save this, we need to restart Prometheus again. So I will use the pre grep again. See, I'm I'm not adding directly everything in one go because everything we will be doing step by step so that no error issue comes. Okay. Prometheus, and I'm going to stop this first then start it again you, uh, that i can do dot slash uh, prometheus ampersand okay and now let us let us wait for this to come up again i'll refresh the page if i go here on graph page status targets 
now here you can see node exporter is added okay and yeah so this is good let me just refresh it once more one more time okay so node exporter added and yeah this is the local prometheus matrix now we need to add the black box matrix okay so where can we find the uh, like what we need to add so for that you can go to official page uh, prometheus.io here you see black box you see uh, uh, in front of it there is a uh, git repository click on that scroll down and scroll down till you find this configuration okay so you need to copy from here till here copy that and before putting it inside your uh, yaml file make sure you are checking it for indentation you can see it's not correct okay so let me do one thing uh, let me copy from here itself paste it here it is correct okay and yeah this is fine so now we need to modify it right what things we need to modify here first of all we need to give the address of the uh, project that we want to monitor which is this one so i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay first thing done other than that here you need to uh, provide the information like on which ip address on which machine your black box exporter is running right so i'm uh, as you know key we have set up black box exporter here right on the first uh, virtual machine i'll copy that the ip address i'll copy and next we can put it here okay just confirm yaml is valid so we are going to copy this whole thing and go back to yaml file so we are going to uh, modify the yaml file once one more time okay so here we need to add the new yaml file which is for black box exporter it is possible that indentation should be getting one second let me just confirm everything so seems fine let me add this okay so it's not correct indentation and let me correct it immediately by watching this matrix path param this should be okay so this is fine and now one more thing we need to do in replacement here ip address it should be uh, for where the black box is running right and black box is running again on monitoring tools vm so i'm going to copy the ip address and we need to paste it here okay and now we can save this okay so now what i'm going to do uh, again we need to restart prometheus just to confirm that it's running fine this time it's 9279 9279 now let us restart prometheus and we can refresh the prometheus page just to make sure ki a uh, black box exporter that configuration is also visible here okay it is uh, running now we can go to targets and here we can see that okay black box is also added now black box is added but you see the state state is showing down why down and also see application is successfully running still it's showing state down why because we have not yet started black box exporter right so what we can do we can go inside black box cd black box and here you see there is a there should be a file black box exporter right so i can start it by running this command ampersand sign so that it runs in background it's running on port 91 right so let us access this as well i'll copy this go to browser paste it here and it's running on 9115 you can see now it is running and it's getting the information also right now we should be able to refresh prometheus and now this uh, status of those targets should be coming uh, to uh, up and running in green color okay so let's you can see now all of the things are coming in up because now black box is connected right 
so monitoring part is done now we need to set up the configuration for receiving email notifications okay so how we can do that let me show you that as well so for that what we need to do we need to uh, go to alert manager cd alert manager we have this file alert manager dot yaml right here we need to configure the things how we can do that let me modify the yaml file dot yaml right here in we need to modify okay and what things we need to modify in order to make sure it's working fine if i scroll down i have the file written okay let me first make sure okay, it's the uh, content of the file is correct so for that i am going to use yaml link okay it's correct now let's talk about see you can just uh, you can use this file the file that i'll be sharing you over telegram group you can use that file and you can remove the contents of this one okay now what we need to configure here is first of all here you can see uh, smtp server is going to be smtp.gmail.com and uh, port will be 587 that means you need to make sure that port 587 is open if i show you my security group you will see that it's open 587 open right so once 587 port is open next up what we have auth username okay so we need to configure the gmail address basically so in both the places you can provide your email address and then auth password now this password is quite interesting because this is not your gmail password you need to generate a app password okay where you can generate the app password so for that you need to i'll show you that's it this one you need to use this url to get the app password before that before that if i go to my manage google account before that you need to make sure key in security section of manage google account the where is it two step verification is turned on if it is turned on then only you'll be able to create app password and then you need to once you have turned on two step verification you can go to this url click enter and it will ask you for your password I can just uh, do this. Let me access this. Second, give me a minute. Let me call the uh, code. Right. So, 307, click enter. Yep, yes. Okay. now you can you, see you just need to put password now previous password was created now i'm going to create new password you can provide any name i'm just going to give it log create now this password is the password that you need to use in auth okay i'll just put it here okay and this is correct and this much you need to do rest you can just copy this whole thing and you can paste it here okay so what i am going to do close this i'm going to remove this i'm going to create a new file with the uh, with the contents of mine okay and i'll paste the contents here save this let me just check yeah, one one more thing we can do actually here it is written test at the rate gmail.com so what i'm going to do i'm going to write it something else i'm going to uh, uh, let me think something maybe we can write like this on it the ring at the rate mm example.com sorry about that okay uh yeah this is fine let me save this okay and let me just restart alert manager also e crap
and dot slash alert manager percent okay so alert manager is also running now let me uh, restart one last time the prometheus okay so here uh, i can run the command the let me go into prometheus folder yep yes kill 75 and now i can restart again and percent okay now let us check out few things let me refresh prometheus this will take few minutes as you see Because inside Prometheus we can see what is the status and so let me refresh this also yeah alert manager is up and running now uh, let's wait for this to come up then only we can proceed actually okay so this is up you can go to alerts and as of now you can see uh, these are the certain rules created right so let us test it using website DOM. So for website down, what we can do, website is running, I can just press enter and uh, let me stop it, control C, shutdown completed, okay, that means the website should be down, now it's not getting up, right, so here in some time, in exactly one minute, it's going to go into a state where it's, it means the uh, website is down, so team, now you see it says website down status and state you see it's in pending, okay after some time it should be going to firing state and when it goes to firing state we should be receiving notification email so let me turn on email also so that we can monitor that as well let's wait for this to complete let me just refresh the page again and yeah. see this this slowness of your, uh, this prometheus you are seeing because i'm using uh, one just a t2 medium machine and i have set up multiple things there alert manager i have set up black box scooter also i have set up there itself okay so yeah first notification we have received which is alert name which is website down right you can see uh info information we can see the website at so and so is down right that means first thing is done second thing in order to test it so if i go here we know that uh node exporter is also running as a service okay and how prometheus is going to know that website is down so in companies basically what happens each node they are you going to use for kubernetes or so it will be having by default node exporter setup so by default if node exporter is set up that means key it will be 24 7 running if website goes down then only the node exporter goes down that means if node exporter is down then prometheus will understand ki, okay web uh, virtual machine is down okay so what we can do let me explain you also i am running node exporter as a service so in my yaml file if i show you the uh, alert alert rules uh, where is it service unavailable so here in this section you can write the service name which you want to monitor if you want to monitor nginx you can write nginx i want to monitor node exporter service so i have written that now let's say uh, if I search for uh, node exporter service, if I write node underscore exporter and let us stop this service or basically just kill it. Okay. So when I write this thing, what happens? Uh, node exporter goes down. That means now Prometheus will understand. Okay. Website is also down and this service that was running, which is whose name is node exporter. Both of them are down so we are going to receive another notification which is for these two things okay so let's wait for this again i am saying sorry about that i have taken like very small machine t2 medium and that's why prometheus is kind of slow at this point okay so yeah now you can see status you can see both of them are showing inactive and after two minutes we are going to receive notification email over a gmail address and yeah for instance down we are going to receive in one minute okay as soon as currently you can see it is in pending state as soon as it goes into firing mode we are going to receive the notification okay so yeah let's wait for this one two minutes meanwhile if you are completely new make sure to subscribe on the channel and yeah
your support is uh, is quite important for me so yeah keep supporting let's wait for this to complete as i said it will take uh, one minute here and two minute here let me refresh the page again as i say you see it it needs to wait for 2 minutes for in the in those cases before sending the mail notification that time can be changed based on your requirement okay now you can see for instance down it was 1 minute so it is now in firing mode and we should be receiving another email in some time let me refresh the page as well okay in some time we should be receiving a notification for instance down and after some time for service unavailable let me refresh the page yes second mail that we received is like ki uh, node exporter has been down for more than a minute okay this is for instance down right this it will take like, its time is set up for 2 minutes so after 2 minute it will go into firing mode and then we are going to receive the notification email okay so let's wait for this to complete again i have just refreshed the page okay now here also it went into firing mode and within few seconds we should be receiving email over our gmail address okay so let's wait for this to complete and let's see as soon as we receive the notification email now service unavailable this mail also we have received so in this way you can monitor your websites your instances your services on uh, instances all these things you can monitor in a proper right so yeah team that will be all for today and all the documentation will be available in the telegram group you can just check it out so thanks for watching and have a nice day